The Kumanakoto Trail is the most famous walking trail in Japan. This pilgrim route takes you through the mountains, rivers, and cozy Japanese countryside. There are different sections you can walk, and we decided to start in Nachi Katsura. So join us as we explore this lesser known but beautiful side of Japan. Tomorrow we are starting and we are so excited. We decided to start here. I know that a lot of people end in this city. So tomorrow the first thing that what we do is go to the beautiful waterfalls. But for now we are going to explore this beautiful town because it is super pretty and we see the ocean, the Japanese ocean. So it's time, come. First time touching the, yeah, we call it the Japanese ocean. We're not sure how this is called. But if you look that way, all the way there is America. And it gets even more amazing here because there are palm trees. It's super tropical here. And like palm trees and pine trees next to each other. I think we only see a few locals just walking around the village or just minding their own business. So I'm really curious how many tourists are actually here. And we're also trying not to offend anyone because I don't know how the image of tourists is here. So. to our stay for tonight and if you ever wondered how a Japanese house looks from the inside come in take off your shoes Adi oh that's efficient and welcome to the grand living room and kitchen it's so cozy really amazing proper kitchen and you know what's really interesting in Japan all the sinks in the kitchen they are huge they're like two times the size of normal kitchens what I'm used to really handy little table which is really low I didn't see it set yet Oh yeah, oh. yes, yeah, but I don't know. I think you get used to it. And of course, the living room. Look at this. And I didn't know, but Adi told me. The idea is that you sit here, <laughs> put your legs under, and there's also a heater going under here, so that your feet get nice and warm. And we just went to the Lawson. It's really close by. We got all our food for tonight, tomorrow breakfast, and tomorrow lunch because you do have to prepare if you go on this hike. And now it's time to cook. And we have delicious meals. Morning. We are at the Nashi Falls, the most beautiful view points, I think. And I think we have to walk up there, and then we have the best view. Let's go. And we took a first bus from Katsura until here, so we just hope that we get a nice view without any people. The stairs are already taking our breaths away, <laughs> and we have to do three days of hiking. Yeah. We're done with the stairs, and now we are in this beautiful courtyard surrounded by these beautiful temples. So I think we're getting closer to the famous viewpoint. And as you can see, we walked, we took the bus and we walked, but you can also take the car to all these places. So it might be an option for people. So I think all the people, all these cars are part from the people who are already there at the viewpoint maybe. Or they just work here, I don't know. But uh, I don't see many people, so let's just go. That's really a good sign. Yeah. Here it is, the most famous waterfall in Japan. And this, oh, it looks so pretty, it's really amazing. And there's nobody, so what's the time? 7.35, you will be the first one. We just see two other people who we also met last night in our accommodation. So it looks like there's nobody on this track, but it's not possible because everything is fully booked. So yeah, maybe we see some Monday. I think everything is fully booked for people who come from the other side and end up here. So they might come here uh, in yeah, the evening. Maybe not many people start from this side, but we are going to show you that starting from this side might be really cool. And what do you think, Adi? You have to go up here? I don't know, the signs are super unclear. And this looks like pilgrims, right? Yeah. So maybe oh, we start. are gonna be one of them. Yeah. Are you sure? No. 
But it, yeah, I cannot imagine. So this is where we're going today, Kogushi, and from here it's 14.1 kilometers. And I'm really curious how long it will take us because I hear people saying four hours to nine hours. So it six. says 295 minutes. Oh, <laughs> how much is that? <laughs> Almost uh, five hours. Yeah, let's see. We have to film as well, so that's also another bottleneck. We found our first sign and yesterday somebody told us that there are signs every 500 meters. So you have 500 meters in. <laughs> <laughs> That's not much. It's crazy uphill. And yeah, it, it's still cool. It's not too warm in the forest, but it's uh, yeah, a good start. <laughs> So we just found a sign and that is saying that the route from here to Koguchi, the place where we have to go, is called the Hongju Cho. And it's a really steep pass with an altitude of 800 meters, the most difficult part of this whole Kumana Kodo. And uh, it is called, oh the pass itself is called the Okumotori Gu, which means passing over clouds. And while we are exploring the mountains in Japan, we wanted to tell you something special about our Japan trip. Along with this beautiful trail, we also did many other lesser known things around Japan, such as living with the Japanese monks, exploring Mount Fuji all by ourselves, staying in unique accommodations and much more. And we would like you to have the same experience. That's why we made a Japan travel guide and Google Maps, which will provide you with detailed information about all the activities we did, the accommodations we stayed, and the delicious food we had. So head to our website letsmeetabroad.com and order your Japan travel guide. We found a snake here, but I don't, I don't even know if it's alive. My hero husband, he's going to take the snake away. No, you know, you know. Because I already sacrificed oh, myself with finding it. Oh, can I come close? Yeah. You take it. I think the snake is gone. But we also heard that a few days ago a woman got lost and nobody still like nobody can find her. So maybe she got bitten by snake or she saw a snake and she freaked out and fell off. What just happened with me? <laughs> yeah, Mira almost stepped on the snake. But yeah, if you are here, be careful. No poison. No poison. Okay, okay, that makes sense. Because now we are So now we are at the highest point of this trail and we have a really nice viewpoint. It's amazing, it's so pretty. You see the ocean there and you see all these beautiful mountains. And a little snake update. I just showed it to some Japanese. They freaked out, but they said, no poison, no poison. They looked like, oh my God. Yeah, they were really <laughs> freaking out. But, uh, yeah, at least we don't have to be afraid for our lives. So that's no. good news. But it's so crazy, like their color, it's almost the same as yeah. everything on the also, floor. All everything the branches, on the ground. all the branches are the same color. So it's a bit uh, more anxious feeling now to walk, but I would yeah. just get over it now and don't look at it anymore. And it's a really an amazing track. Like you have a lot so of shadow nice. from the trees, really fresh air. It's perfect. yeah. Oh, I'm I'm really having fun. Yeah, it's amazing and really quiet. Just now, this is kind of a collection point. Everyone <laughs> exactly. stops here, but for the rest, we're all walking alone, alone all the time. Look at the sign. I want to get it as a souvenir, Adi. Put it in our garden. So talking about friendly people on this track, we just saw two guys and he gave me my stick because they were going that way, so they were almost finished. And I'm really happy with it because we were just saying like, oh, it would be so nice if you had a stick and now I feel like a real pilgrim. Yeah. I got some sushi. And did you already talk about the vending machines? Oh, there's a vending machine. That's crazy. There's vending machines here. <laughs> but how do they even, like, just to refill this, they have to drive so much? Yeah. It was normal prices. Yeah. Maybe I mean, take yeah. something later. 
But yeah, we right. got all the food yesterday from Lawson, which is pretty good. And you have like this little, little, like this is rice, this is omelette. Mira has like really proper, really good, delicious sushi. Oh, I think they give soya sauce. They barely, like this is maybe the second time I got soya sauce, but they never do it. Oh, and let's see. Oh, little baby apple. This is going to keep us going for <laughs> the next half, half a day. Usually, for the same price, I think you get this big. Yeah, true. Oh, it's not good. <laughs> tastes like cough syrup. I don't drink that. That tastes like that. Oh yeah. I have never had cough syrup, so. Oh, it smells like bubble gum. Oh, I like it. It's a bit sour. Oh, that's it, good. It, it tastes like the sour candies. So something really exciting what you can do on this track is you can collect stamps and if you have enough stamps then you get like the final stamp that you completed this pilgrim route. However, we didn't know about it. So we don't have this book this book where you can put the stamps in. But I don't want to see. So I will sacrifice my hands for this. Oh, so cute! They're all little pilgrims, but it didn't go well. Oh. No, can I put it here? Can you bring your arms a bit closer. Don't oh, don't make this. Oh. No, that was really nice. Oh, nice. <sighs> Maybe get this tattoo. No. Oh, me neither. But I don't think it's gonna attack us. I think it's like a mieren eater, we call it in Dutch. Oops. What if it now comes with his, all his gang members? Yeah, it would be funny. But I think it's pretty rare that you see all these animals. We saw no. a snake and this creature. We'll figure out what it is later. And just keep an eye around me. <laughs> there must maybe be more. Snake! Oh well, yeah, still, yeah, you try to just not put your mind on the snakes, but pff, look at this, film it, Adi. There can be snakes anywhere. How right? many snakes can you spot? Yeah, like, this is a snake, this is a snake, this is a snake, that's a frog, this is a snake. <laughs> Everything around you is a snake yeah. type. So we reached Koguchi, the end point of today, but we're not staying in this town, we have to go with the bus to our Airbnb and uh, we are waiting now for the bus to come and I'm, um, yeah, I'm really curious where we end up. We have to do a little bit of walking I think again, but today it was fine, it was not that tough, right? We just got off the bus, we had to take two buses. And now we are almost about to reach our accommodation, which is really exciting. Oh, uh, today we are actually using this. Oh, our feet are so warm and it's cozy so nice. inside. It's also a bit cold, but you put your feet under here and it's oh, magic happens. And, and what have we got for dinner? Delicious food. We made some vegetarian curry, some salad, and we got some tea, which I'm going to take to warm up. Yeah, nice. So good. from a few stops before Koguchi 
because a big tip already this morning, don't get off in Koguchi, but get, get one stop before yeah, Koguchi. Yeah, we will show you how you can recognize it because otherwise you just have to walk on the roads yeah. getting here. <laughs> but how was your sleep last night? Oh, I slept really good. Yeah, I think in like in all over Japan we have had like really thick heavy blankets. Yeah. And they're just so good oh, for sleeping. Oh, they're so cozy. You can really cuddle with your blanket. It's and really this morning nice. we had some amazing breakfast again. Uh, toast with avocado. So no animals yet, Mira? No animals yet, but it's again a really pretty walk through the forest. Oh, I see Buddha. And uh, it's a bit uh, vicious. It's cold. <laughs> It's, we're already how far up? We have to do quite a lot right today. It's fun. This my backpack is a bit heavy. Or he not heavy, it's more uncomfort. I don't have a waist strap. We made it. We made it to the most beautiful viewpoint from this trail. Look behind me. And really, if you walk through the forest all day, you don't really realize that you're walking through these beautiful mountains. They're amazing. After the beautiful viewpoint, now we are rushing to Okigawa because there's a really nice ramen place. But the catch is it closes at two o'clock and now it's 12 and we still have to cover five kilometers. So let's see if we can make it. And we are starving for ramen. We've been looking forward for this ramen for like since morning that, oh my God, how cool it would be to have it. But we didn't realize it closes at two. Just double checking if it really closes at two. Yeah. Oh. And otherwise it closes, at, opens at 5.30 again. And all the reviews are saying that it's the best ramen in Japan. Ooh. Ready for ramen, Mira? Point two case. Yeah, I don't know if the smell is from a ramen place, but it already smells like really nice food. <laughs> yeah, it smells like French fries. <laughs> oh, I can eat anything now. I'm so hungry. Then you see the ramen here, ramen. So that must be it. Ooh. Oh, let's go. So we're the only Western people eating here. Probably. Here, from all these names, I'm the first one with an. That's difficult. Because it's all Japanese. Okay, and this one is with egg and and duck. Okay. Oh. Put money. You click and you get a receipt, and that's our food for today. And now we have to get some change, right? Mm. We have two different ones and we ask them to take meat out and we have some egg in there and then uh, let's try let's it's begin here right yeah, but the, oh i also got butter apparently this butter we also put in the ramen it's really weird i thought it was ice cream oh, butter. i put a little bit in the ramen oh <laughs> oh so warm but what i taste it was really nice Mm. Nice. Yeah. Oh yeah. I think it's going to be promising. Very nice. I think the soup is next level. Oh me up. The ramen was delicious and now we got some dessert. And that for the dessert what we have is choco pie. I don't know if you guys know. But that is like what we have been eating since we were kids and Mira has never had a choco pie. I've seen it for a long time in all the supermarkets, choco pie. But I don't know, it looked like a child snack. But uh, yeah, Adi says that I will love it. Ooh. Oh yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Vanilla cream sandwich pie. Mm. Let's see. Oh, oh, that it's is really nice. It's really nice. <gasps> Look at this, it's all chocolate. What we had was a bit bigger. Oh yeah, nice. I think we have kind of the same, but a completely different 
like how it looked and everything. And if you're wondering why are we sitting here next to the road, we are waiting for a bus. Because we are, uh, we are going to Hong Hongju. That's the place where most of the people stay this day. But we are staying a bit further away from Honju. But I did want to go there because there's a really beautiful shrine. So now the plan is we go with the bus to Honju and then we walk to our accommodation. And uh, yeah, that's it. Now we're going so to enjoy uh, this beautiful choco pie. I've seen this for months in Asia and I just I missed out. Someone drove past and he just stopped next to us. I thought he was going to offer us a lift. Yeah, but then something better even. He gave us this. But it's so pretty, it's almost sad to open. I'm sure it's from it's from British Brit British, yeah, British. it's a British cake. Oh, it's not open even. Eh? Maybe we can open it tonight. Maybe he got it for his birthday and thought I don't want this, so Yeah. Uh, yeah. We, we have to open it tonight. But these exactly. things happen in Japan, you know, just people are so friendly, it's so amazing. Yeah, exactly. Oh, let's open it later. Yeah? Yeah, 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 yeah. we will show you what's in here tonight. <laughs> This is the reason why we came to Hongu or Honju. We don't know how to pronounce it, but look behind us. Like in the video, it looks a bit small because we are really further away. But if you go closer, it's just a giant structure. Then did we already tell you how warm it is? How the weather is just amazing. And we were thinking we had need all our winter clothes. No. Nope. Yeah, we bought so many jackets from Uniqlo. Yeah. <laughs> Craziness. this track you see this water almost all the time and we always thought like oh it must be really cold or you know what is it like now we touched it it is freezing it is really really cold Adi wants to go for a swim you can go by himself you go but we don't have a towel no, we don't have a towel we have nothing so that's not really the smartest but if you come to this track as well and you want to go for a skinny dip maybe this is it is super super clear the water extremely yeah i think it would be really rewarding to be in the water here yeah now maybe we'll find an onsen later with some boiling water in Yunomina Onsen and here is where we sleep tonight and you don't smell it but there are public baths here on the hot springs but it smells like uh, acid swavel yeah acid yeah <laughs> not the best smell and yeah maybe we will try them out later but I think our hostel also has something we'll, we'll see in the see. description we'll see <laughs> We are staying in J Hopper's hostel tonight. So let's see how it is. Because our past two nights we had private beds and today we have shared, of course, in a dorm. But I'm really excited. And also really tired. It's promising, Addy. Oh, I see the kitchen looks amazing. You have no clue how much this whole wardrobe is stinking. Amazing. They had really good reviews, that's why I chose to stay here and not in Honju because I thought in Honju we can explore like how we did it and later come to this little cute place. Okay, let's, let's pick up our slippers. Oh, that's a really clean. <laughs> this is our room, really this place is amazing. They have a Japanese living room, kitchen and best of all, the hot springs are just here and they're private you can like kind of reserve and them and it's free so we hope there's now people in the hot spring so we cannot go in so we hope that they come out anytime and then we jump in just with the two of us so yeah because you have to be naked and we didn't like that whole idea but if it's just us it's the best naked. ending of our trail <laughs> yeah very very different flavors. Oh, Japanese food like very very 
How do I eat it? It's stops the sardine. Yes, it's it's too much. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like a lot of stuff. Wow, too much. <laughs> oh, good to hear. Oh, oh. It's nice. Mm. Same taste as the curry. Or maybe not. I don't know. It's delicious. So of course there's no cafe open because most cafes in Japan open after 10. But we found some hot chocolate in the vending machine. With a cow on it. Cake. I think it's this really heavy cake with fruit pieces in it, which is delicious. Oh, look what a fancy packing! Wow! Whoa, like butter. Oi, lekker! Mm. Oh yeah, exactly what I thought it was. Mm. Oh, I love these cakes. Mm. And what better place to eat it? This is the hot chocolate from Kirin brand, I think. Oh, that's so convenient about Japan. It's more convenient than a convenience store, the vending machines. Mm. It's not that milky, it's really light. Oh mm -hmm. my god. I think it would be such a nice combo with the cake and in this. It's also a little bit chilly, so a hot drink. Oh, perfect. And I'm so happy about the cake. It almost like he came he came in an angel form and gave us the best uh, treat ever. <laughs> and if you're wondering what our plan is for today, today we are going with the bus from here to Koyasan. And in Koyasan we are going to stay with Japanese monks. I'm already looking forward to that for months. And if you're wondering how you can also end your Kumano Kodo Trail in style staying actually with the Japanese monks then subscribe and we see you in the next one.